Welcome back to Arcade. I am Super Tommy, and this is a series on creating a breakout game in Phaser 3 with Matter.js. Now, in the last part, we used Tiled, um, which is a tile map maker. Oh, well, this is our tiled parser for Phaser 3, but it is from mapeditor.org, Tiled, the program to help you make tile maps so that you can design your level visually and then import it into your game. Now we went over a few ways that you can uh, add different colors. The best way is probably in your tile set. So now we have one picture, but you can make a tile set with the blocks pre-tinted in Photoshop or GIMP or something else. Uh, set up your tile set and then use that to create your level, design your level. And then when you go in here, we using the create from tiles function that method that we showed you how to use in the last video. Uh, do that for every type of color block and then you will get a nicely designed level in your game now we're using random colors just to show you how it could be done and to just add some variety to our uh, to this project as we show you how to do it now in this video we are going to make a game over or you win screen so now we already have two ways of checking when the game is over when lives right here is zero and when you win on the on that game over uh way to check is when all the blocks are gone and we have that in the blocks list or blocks array when that is zero you won when lives is zero you've lost so let's make a game over scene and we're going to share that scene for both losing and winning let's go here to our scenes folder where the game scene and the preloader scene live and create a game over scene game over.ts so we probably don't need this there. So import, import phaser from phaser. Now we've made already two different scenes here and the way is the same now, extends phaser.scene. Now constructor, and as we've done before, we need to give our scene a key. This will be called game over. It's nothing to load. Uh, so we will just have be a create and we're gonna get something from create, namely, let's say the message title, which we call this title, let's say title. Um, okay, and then, did you say that's good? Title. So we're gonna do, very simply, we're gonna do this.add.text, and we're gonna do it at, so we're gonna, do it in the center. So here we have more object destruction like we've talked about in part one and very subsequent parts um, before, after that. So do check the older videos if you wanna know what we're doing here and how this works or what the equivalent for that is. So we're gonna just put this in the middle. So that is width, half width, and half height. And the message is gonna be data.title so that we're gonna pass in a message so like it could be you win, it could be game over. And then we're gonna design this text. So let's show you our other tool. It is the text styler for phaser three. Let's get rid of this. Okay. So you can basically design how your text will look. So this would look better, let's just make this bigger. And let's refresh this. Let's see if this is any better. Okay, you can see that sort of okay. We're just going to use the default font, so it doesn't matter what the font is here. What we're going to do is add a little background color. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Um, let's see. Looks like something to do with Firefox, adding way more um, padding to things than it should be. Okay, anyway, 10, 10, 10, 10. And let's see here. Okay, that's good. We'll leave that as is. And now you see it generates the code. So we're just going to just take this code. No bottom should also be 10. And look at this padding. Bottom 10. All right, see, code gets updated. So we're going to just take this right here. Go back there, we don't need this so big. We do need it only as big as our game. 
right there. Okay, so we can just paste in our design. And so you can use that tool, tweak the text, um, and then just copy and paste the config file, the config you need into your code. So that's the text, it'll say whatever. Okay, now let's go to main. Now we need to add our game over scene. Game over from scenes, game over. Just like before, we need to add this here. Save that, okay, save this. So we don't need this code. We're just gonna go with our tiled level. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now when the lives is zero, so we're doing lives here, let's do that. So if this.lives less than or equal to zero, you can also early exit out of there. And then what we're gonna wanna do is go to the game over scene. So this dot scene dot start game over, game over. Oh, and uh, let's see, we should give it a title. Title, let's just say game over. So let's just quickly lose and there we are now this text is way off let's set the text set origin half half game over now there is a bug of some kind here. And I'm tempted to just, let me just, let me just check, check real fast. Check real fast. Let's check fast, okay. Let's look at it in Chrome. Let's see if we actually still get this problem. No, so this is what you would expect it to look like. So there appears to be some kind of problem in Firefox Developer Edition. I may need to update my Firefox, but uh, this is what you should expect it to look in Chrome and possibly Safari. Um, anyway, back to this. Okay, so let's just assume this looks better than what it should be looking. So this is a game over. Here we're in the scene. So this is when you've lost. And because we're passing in title, you see we're, we're taking title from the create you can pass anything into into a scene and it'll be given to create init and I think preload. And then you can use it. So if you win, for example, so let's say you're winning. So this is game over, but let's say you want. So let's see, blocks.splice destroy. So this is the collision and the ball collide. If this.blocks this dot blocks dot length if there are no more blocks left instead of game over it's going to say you win so now let's oops let's try not to lose oh okay i'm sure i'm about to lose close okay come on get the balls so after if it's not stuck here can I go to the other side let's see I can try there we go oh no so two more blocks, two more blocks. This is the slow way. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I should have made an easier level to test. Okay, that, that. There's this mobile game, I think. 
where it basically is breakout, but you can like collect more balls and fire them off. And it was fairly addictive. I think it was by Ketchup Apps or something like that. All right, this one's going to get it. And you would just fire a whole bunch of balls and see how many times you can hit a block, how many blocks you can, you can get rid of. You play that for a little bit. You can use the same things that we've talked about in this video to make that game as well. All right, so boom, you win. All right, so that's, of course, using the same scene code and changing the messaging. So now what you can also do is, of course, pass in color, right? If you want to do color and uh, let's just say, uh, I don't know, some sort of yellow color, right? We're just going to say, what's yellow? Yellow is green and blue, right? So let's assume this yellow. I could be wrong. Let's say you pass in a color, right? Like something like that. And then in here, you would also expect color, and that would be a number. Oh, but it wants this. Uh, okay, well, it would be way easier to just go to color picker, look for color picker, and let's say we want a yellow color, right? that and then instead of number you'll want it to be a string and then um color would be this and then back in game over that's color so background color would be data dot color i mean of course you can also set color of the font itself and just call it background color but basically anything you want to change you could change it here and so for example easier to test game over than to actually test um, winning. Oops, can't see, okay. That, so now let's just, uh, we'll just show you that then you can change the background color of that text as well. Boom, yellow. Now you may, in, in this case, adjust the color of this text too, because you can't really read white on yellow, maybe a black or something, but you basically understand how that's done. Now, the last thing we're gonna do in this series is add one sound because we have this tone one dot wave. Okay, there's no preview. So let's preload it. Um, so this dot load dot audio. Yep, and we're gonna call this tone one and it is an assets tone one dot wave. So that's loading the audio. Now playing an audio is very easy. Let's go to game. So we're gonna play this every time the ball hits a block. So we already know where that when that happened, which is right here. So before we destroy it, we're gonna do this dot sound dot play tone one. Not Tony, tone one. And do that. Bloop. And there we go. Now you can, of course, add different sounds when it hits the wall or something. Um, we did not cover collision with the wall, but you do know that it does happen. You may have to give the wall a different data type and uh, we win. That was much easier to win than the first time I was playing that. Um, you can give the walls a different data type, perhaps, or some other way you want to check that it's a wall. Um, you can get the walls. Let me just do some dummy code here. You can get the walls. It's this dot matter dot the walls no dot world dot walls. So these are the four walls or the three walls in in our case here, and it's an object. So I think it is keyed. You'll see that it is just object. But you can uh, console dot dir that out. See what the keys are. I think it is left top right bottom. And then uh, play different sounds when you hit the wall versus when you hit a block. Now you can get you can get sounds from Kenny. Now our our tone sound is from Kenny. If you go to Kenny.nl, Kenny has many great assets, including art assets. But if you go to assets, you go to audio. He's got a whole bunch of sound effects. Uh, I think I think the one we're using is maybe from either digital or UI audio. It's one of those. Check it out yourself. You can download them. He has a, I don't call it breakout, but we took uh, 2D, um, let's see, bricks, platform bricks, top bricks. He has a breakout blocks. 
He has a breakout type um, asset pack. Uh, this, yeah. So we 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 had taken Kenny's assets and just made it black and white so we can tint over them. But of course, if you just took Kenny's assets directly, you see here they already come in three, uh, four different colors, possibly more. And uh, then you can use those, create a tile set out of them, like we talked about. Use tile to make your layer your levels and then load them in. Now, if you wanna see how you can load multiple levels, we did go over that in our Sokoban video. If you go to our YouTube channel, I'll just show you. Uh, let's see, YouTube Arcade. If you go here, we have playlist. We have our Sokoban series, which is, where's, here it is. Here's our Sokoban series, and um, we go over how to use tile to make levels and then play through multiple levels um, by loading different tiled levels. So do check out that series. We'll link it in the description below. So now that's it for this series. We went over using Matter.js to build a simple breakout game. Now you can use Matter.js to make uh, different, more complicated games. And so let us know in the comments below if there is a more complicated game you want to make with Matter.js and we'll see if we can make a video for you. So be sure to subscribe uh, for more videos that we'll be making.